Welcome to Electronic Geek. In the last video, we saw what a multiplexer is, its working, its application in real life, and uh, we also implemented a 4 to 1 multiplexer on Tinkercad using uh, various uh, basic logic gates, and we simulated the circuits, verified our results. Now, in this video, we will be constructing an 8 is to 1 multiplexer using a 2 is to 1 multiplexer. To start with designing, we will be needing the components that we will be using. So here we need a 2 is to 1 multiplexer. So in this case, when we are creating big uh, circuits, we cannot uh, create every design using logic gates. Okay. So you make a truth table, then you write its equation, then you implement using logic gates. This is not the best thing that can be done. So what we do is we use ICs. In this case, we are going to use IC 74157 which is a 2 is to 1 multiplexer okay so click p and 74157 see here there are many configurations see s1 hct hc all these things uh, we will be using this 74 hc 157 so what does this hc mean over here hc means for high speed cmos so uh, in every IC like this digital IC, uh, there is a switching action inside. So this kind of switching action can be implemented uh, using like TTL gates or like uh, MOSFETs also. So in this case, it's a CMOS um, kind of IC. So uh, now comes the next question, how many ICs to be used? Okay, for that, um, see, here's a trick. We need to uh, design an 8 is to 1 MUX using 2 is to 1 so 8 by 2 equal to 4 then 4 by 2 equal to 2 2 by 2 gives you 1 now the total 4 plus 2 plus 1 gives you 7 so we will be needing 7 such ICEs okay or 7 such 2 is to 1 uh, mux so uh, select it place the component in the schematic sheet now see this uh, this particular IC has four 2 is to 1 multiplexers built inside and the output let's say this is one 2 is to 1 uh, but this one pair is a 2 is to 1 mux and output of this mux is this pin number 4 okay you will be getting the output of this particular pair on uh, pin number 4 similarly 2a 2b output is uh, on pin 7 and same for 3a 3b and 4a 4b on 9 and 12 respectively now these are two other pins this is the enable pin and this is the switch control switch as this is a 2 is to 1 mux uh, there will be only one such uh, switch okay uh, so this is the enable in multiplexers enable is uh, a pin which uh, guarantees or which is the condition that uh, your multiplexer will be working so uh, and you see in this pin there is a bubble over here this bubble means that pin is active low. What does this active low mean? This means that uh, whenever your pin is connected to zero volt or let's say ground, okay, when it's low signal, that means your multiplexer will be active. It's a bubble inverting. You connect it to ground and then your uh, IC, IC or uh, anything uh, will be active. So if uh, we see here, we needed a four 2 is to 1 muxes. If we see, we can construct it entirely on this, but uh, for the time being, I'm going to make pairs like two here and two on the, with the next IC because it will get a bit messy. Later on, I will uh, simplify and show it to you. Okay, so now when we are using two pairs, we will be needing one more IC over here. Here and two plus one. So one over here and one again over here now as all these enable pins are active low in this case all need to be connected to ground so go here in terminals select ground place it okay drag and drop select drop now when all these enable pins are connected to ground this means that ic will function now properly okay 
so now uh, we will be needing a switching action obviously for that we can use the logic toggle say toggle yeah this one if you need you can also use a uh, let's say spst or spdt switch also even a relay will be fine but make sure the voltage of relay that you select fits in 5 volt because this ic will be working on 5 volts and uh, if you select let's say by mistake you take a 12 volt relay and if that won't be getting 12 volt supply uh, there won't be any switching action so make sure you uh, cross check those values so we will be needing one more like this and for neatness i am uh, selecting this pin 3 and 3b 3a 3b here also the same like this and uh, now all the required toggle switches have been selected and uh, we'll connect them okay so connect it connect it here also the same thing we'll be needing even logic switches for uh, this uh, control inputs so And uh, we'll be needing an LED to see the output. Okay. LED red. Just like this. We'll place it at the output. Or let's say we'll place this later. Okay. So now every connection has been made and uh, we'll connect this output wires. So this particular output wire will be going here. Click and this particular output will be going here this one over here pin 3a and this one 3b pin 4 output will be here and pin 9 output will be here Click. so the output we will be taking is on here so place an LED like this, select, rotate anti-clockwise, connect, go to terminals, select ground, connect this. Now, uh, all the connections have been made and we are ready to check whether our circuit is working or not. Before proceeding with the simulation part, I will explain the working of this circuit. Okay, so this uh, is the control switch, this, these all. Okay. This control switch is, is responsible for selecting a particular uh, data input that which has to be uh, taken on the output. Now, let's say that we are having this uh, as zero. This means that 1A and 3A are on the output. Same with this case. If it, this is zero, this means uh, 1A of this particular and 3A of this particular uh, 2 to 1 mux will be on the output. Now, if let's say I have to select this particular input. So, this will be zero over here. And as this is zero, what we'll be getting is this particular line, which is 2 and uh, pin number 11. This will be on the output. Now, I have to control those two things and these two outputs obviously with this particular control switch when this is zero this means either pin number two that is 1a or 3a will be seen on the output i can even change this if i want 1b or 3b now out of this 1b uh, like out of these two which one i will be i want an output is uh, controlled with this particular switch if it this is zero this means uh, the line connecting to 1A will be seen on output and if this is 1 then line connecting to 1B will be on the output. Uh, let's simulate it. 
see now uh, this is zero and let's say I want this particular line on the output I'll change this to one okay see this is on output but how it is happening this is zero which means this or and this both are on the output here also this is zero which means either this or this is on the output I haven't changed the switching condition so this does not matter right now and uh, zero here means the first particular line that is why uh, this is high now let's say I change this to uh, this one and I am uh, uh, changing this to zero see even if this is high it does not matter on the output same for this does not matter but what if I uh, same for even 3a it won't matter still now what if I have to take this particular pin on output I will be doing one over here see like this you can test for other uh, input and output input configurations uh, you will check the output like this now uh, the com now comes the part for circuit reduction which I had skipped a uh, few minutes back we will be doing that so stop simulation so uh, we will be deleting all these we don't need them even this uh, select remove uh, now we will be connecting the rest of the toggle switches Mm, this is 2a this is 2b 3a 3a and uh, 4a 4b connect it and connect it uh, okay we'll uh, remove this particular wire delete connect it to this uh, connect this to 2a and to 2b now if uh, we'll have to remove this and we have to do this now if you check whether the circuits working or not yes it will be so click here uh, first of all take all to zero yeah select here see it's working and uh, in material see it's uh, like low now and uh, that's how you can reduce it if you want to reduce it even more stop it if you want to reduce it even more like you don't need this IC what you can do is simply remove it and connect it in a bit different way now what outputs you are getting is on pin 4 and on pin 7 so uh, you can connect these pins to the input Select here. 3a 3b now the final output that you will be getting is uh, on here select your LED place it ground it now your circuit will be working the same as it was working earlier change this see it's working you can try this for other configurations too like um, click here turn this off it's off see, it won't matter so uh, one more other thing uh, which is to use labels okay why we will be labeling our nets we'll stop it and uh, remove it delete escape right click delete delete so what we can do is double click double click and uh, double click double click we'll be naming these nets okay uh, place wire label will be say uh, one underscore out output of pin one and here we'll be labeling 
escape place file label to underscore out output of the first mux output of the second mux we'll be naming these like this also one underscore out and uh, two underscore out now this means that this four is connected to pin 11 and uh, seven is connected to uh, pin 10 and uh, easy this can be done we'll uh, switch off these yeah see this is how you can reduce your circuit uh, and make it look neater and much more nicer so this is how you can implement a uh, 8 is to 1 multiplexer using 2 is to 1 multiplexer and in this case ic 74 hc 157 thank you for being till here thank you so much please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel and do give me your valuable feedback in the comment section thank you for being till here thank you so much